Oh. Oh. There's such a giant. Giant. Giant fish. Oh. Hi guys, uh, it's Bash again. So today we're going to talk about the red tail surf perch fishing. So at Washington State, we have three kind of uh, surf perch: um, the pile perch, the striped perch, and the real red tail surf perch. So today I'm going to talk about the red tail surf perch fishing. If you are interested in the pile perch and the striped perch uh, fishing. I have recorded a recorded video last year, um, uh, they are in the jetty fishing part. You can go there and check those videos if you are interested. So um, today we are going to follow the same process. We are going to talk about when, where and how. So let's get started to talk about the time when. So the, for the time when, I usually use the site tide for fishing so this is very useful site i always using for um, almost all kind of saltwater fishing um, i will use this website uh, let's take today for example like if i were come here to see whether i should go out today uh, there will be three things i will check in this website so first the wind so as you can see, the wind is 15 mile per hour uh, today, which I will not go there. Uh, why? Because in uh, like surf perch fishing, we will stand inside the waves to get them. So the wind will blow like the wave coming to you. It will be super dangerous and it will be hard to cast your line out if the wind is more than 10 mile per hour. So I will never go if the wind will be over 10 mile per hour. So that's the first thing. I'll check the wind. And then, um, like if you want to see a few days later, you can just uh, select some day and see the prediction. And they have like per hours prediction for the wind speed. And uh, again, don't go if the wind is over 10 mile per hour. And then let's talk about the um, second thing I'll check is a wave height. So like today, this like wave looks pretty good. If it's lot, um, if the wind is lot over 10 mile per hour, I will definitely go. Why? Because the wave is not that um, tough. So I usually go when the wave is lower than seven, seven feet. So, uh, if it's uh, higher than seven feet, like the wave will hit you hardly when you're standing inside the water. And I feel like the fish, they don't really like this tough wave too. So that's the second thing. Um, usually I will go with this, like uh, the wide numbers is lower than seven feet. So that's the second thing. And then the third thing is about the tide. So, like as you can see, like we have low tide and high tide, and I feel like surf perch they were bite at a snack tide, which is like around the low tide or around the high tide. And this chart is pretty consistent. Uh, like if you can see, there's a, a bunch of fish drawing here. It's very cons pretty consistent with surf perch. For some kind of other saltwater fish, it might not consistent, but this chart is very consistent with like a red tail surf perch that's my feeling and i usually feel like low tide is better than the high tide but that's just based on my experience in your area it might be different so that's uh, about the wind um part check the wind check the wave um uh, height and check the tide uh, uh around like low tide or high tide so that's about the wind part Let's talk about the wear part. So, um, I just show you guys the ocean shore, uh, Washington, um, the 
like tight for fishing the tight thread. Uh, I show you because I usually go there for fishing, but I'm not actually come to here for the red tail surf perch. The first location I will be recommend is here, the Pacific Beach State Park. So why I like here? First, it has a public uh, restroom, and you can park your car over there and just walk down the park to come to uh, around the beach. And the most important thing is we have a big fresh water come uh, towards the ocean. Why? Because the fresh water bring in uh, the food. Like so the fish, if we look at a set satellite, like the fresh water flowing and it brings the food along with it. So I feel like just like around this area, and around this area, I get a lot of bite. Um, th that if I were safe for surf perch fishing in Washington, this would be my most um, favorite, uh, favorite spot, the uh, Pacific Beach State Park. And there is also, if you like drive up um, along the way, there's another beach called Mocrox Beach. I usually park my car around here and uh, this, as you can see, is another river coming. Um, the same reason the river river were bringing the food, and I were just like um, um, come here around here. And also, um, if you continue to drive, there's a, a bunch of like small um, river, um, just like uh, I input the fresh water into the ocean, um, and. Uh, yeah, so that's much it. And uh, there's another um, good place that I push. So, like this one, this area, <laughs> it's like uh, surprisingly good. This area is surprisingly good. Um, they don't have a lot of like uh, weave at here. But I don't know why um, it's uh, this good because like uh, I, I which I guess maybe this island at here um, provide us protection uh, for the fish. So this area um, and this area is really good. So and you usually get a very big ones around this area too. So that's about uh, where uh, the location where you should go in Washington to find these um, fishes. But this location is just where I would like to go. So actually I heard like uh, um, some other place like a Ruby Beach. Uh, I have never go there, but they said it's pretty good. And also um, if you want to fish at the um, Westport part, uh, like the, uh, this location, um, this location is uh, Westport Light State Park, this area. If, uh, let's see that light. This area is pretty good too. And also Long Beach, if you um, uh, like live close to Long Beach, this, all this area um, are pretty good too, like the Long Beach area. So that's uh, for the location. And then for the wear part, um, I have went there and uh, fished for um, the red tail. So I will just put my in practice uh, video there so you guys can see how I do the hard part. My setup, this is a two on sweet and the two hooks, um, which is a sandworm. The um, main line is 14 pounds and the little line is 15 pounds. Um, it's this heavy because I used it for jetty fishing. I haven't changed it, but usually it don't need to be this heavy. Like 15 pounds the main line and 10 pounds the leader line should be enough. Yeah, let's go there and uh, check out the luck today. It's the line tight.
like the surf perch, they just like uh, like they travel like this way along the wave to try to find the bait. So if you find one over there, that means you have a group over there. Just to try to cast where you got the last one. Fish on, this should be a pretty good size. Whoa! Whoa! This is a good size. Oh, it's uh, over a one pound, I guess. I believe. Pretty good size. Good. Oh, might be a crab. Oh, because it's too big. Oh. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, wow. Oh, it's such a giant, giant, giant fish. Oh. This is a pretty good size for the perch out here. Pretty good size. Oh. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. Big one. Oh. Such a big one. I'll take a good, good picture of it. Should be a good picture of it. Yeah, this is a pretty good size for the perch out here. Good. Let's put the soy sauce inside already. It looks pretty good now for the onion, ginger, and garlic. Inside. Yeah, let it cook for a while and we will be breeding for eating. Ah, good. 